Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of What If. Today's hypothetical is what if Whiteout was an animus instead of Darkstalker? Because come on, what were the chances of Darkstalker lucking out and getting all three OP powers? Arctic always watched his dragonettes for the signs that one or both of them had inherited his animus powers. He was always especially worried about Darkstalker, who was already worryingly powerful. His son was yet a dragonette, but dragonettes grew up. Arctic resolved early on that he would make the efforts to show his son that he was loved, so that the dragonette would never feel the need to go after anyone with his mind-reading or prophetic powers. But Whiteout... It was much harder to look for the signs with her. She thought differently from most of the dragons Arctic had known in his life, and experienced emotions very strongly. But she was a surpassingly sweet dragonette, so he wasn't very worried. She didn't seem to be anything out of the ordinary. Seven years later, Clearsight was flying slowly over the Night Kingdom, heading to the cliffside where she and Darkstalker liked to meet up. It was early morning, so most of her tribe were going to sleep about now, leaving the skies and the city free of prying eyes. Hey, Darkstalker said, raising a half-hearted talon as she landed. Clearsight exhaled through her mouth and managed to smile. How is she? she asked, wrapping her tail around her talons. Well, no more rogue spells, Darkstalker replied, spreading his talons tiredly. About three years ago, things began happening. First it was just little things, like when Whiteout's paints would refill themselves, when her parents thought they hadn't gotten around to buying new ones yet, or when the button eye of her favorite toy fell off and then mysteriously reattached the next day. Boslayer thought Darkstalker did it, and he thought she did it. But as Whiteout grew older and met more dragons, the strange incidents grew more pronounced, and her parents and brother began to suspect, until the fateful day when Darkstalker brought Clearsight home for the first time. Whiteout had taken one look at Clearsight with her tired expression and the anxiety pulling in her claws, and tilted her head to the side. Darkstalker knew Whiteout had been trying to help. He knew that she'd seen Clearsight, realized her visions were killing her, and done what she thought would make it better. But completely removing her prophetic powers was a little much. It had also served to finally reveal to Whiteout's family the truth, that she was an animus, and she had no idea how to control her powers. Still no rumors about Animus Dragons, Clearsight said. Nobody's connected anything to her yet. Darkstalker exhaled shakily in relief. Ever since that day years ago when they found out, he'd been doing everything he could to help Whiteout control her power, and to keep everyone else from finding out. The last thing he wanted was for everyone to witch hunt his sister, especially when she just wanted to help. And was enchanting the entire school to grow dozens of different types of flowers year long dangerous? No, of course not, even if Darkstalker could hear the agonizing of the Botany Club's dragon's minds all the way over here. Whiteout just thought it would be beautiful. Or what about when Whiteout saw a dragonette whose mother couldn't afford the little sugar cakes at one of their festivals, and then enchanted a talon full of pebbles into a whole little pile of cakes for them? Darkstalker knew Whiteout wasn't harmless. Clearsight's anxiety was both worse and better without her visions, even if he privately thought she would be happier without trying to watch out for their entire tribe by herself. But his sister certainly wasn't malicious. Did it work? Clearsight asked, shooting a significant look at the ocean foaming over the stone below them. Will he come? He's already here, Darkstalker responded. It had been Arctic's idea to contact Fathom of the Sea Wings, the disgraced prince who was rumored to be an animus. Arctic had been unwilling to admit it, but the Ice Wings didn't know enough about controlling Anna's powers in a dragon who didn't think like them. Ice Wing culture was all about how to suppress Anna's powers, all about self-control. They didn't exactly prepare Arctic for what to do when his dragonette started accidentally turning his scales glittery for hours at a time. So they contacted Fathom, who, it turned out, was pretty desperate for a break from his own kingdom. He agreed to come to the Night Kingdom in secret to talk to Whiteout and hopefully help her one way or another. Fathom was still lurking in the ocean, waiting until the sun was fully up to come to their house. Darkstalker's family had moved to the outskirts of the city a while ago, when Whiteout began having more and more magical accidents. Foslayer was terrified somebody would find out and try to force Whiteout to do something that would haunt her forever. Darkstalker, well, he and Arctic worried about other things. For a family living in a tribe at war, though, they sure were beginning to have a lot of dragons from other tribes around. He'll come later, Darkstalker said, scraping his claws across the rocks. He knows where to go. Clearsight nodded. He'll be able to help, she said. Whiteout's a great dragon. Once someone is able to teach her, I'm not worried. A lot of faith coming from someone whose life had been irreversibly changed by Whiteout. But then, Darkstalker still couldn't decide if he thought that that was for better or for worse. 
Clear sight might not be plagued by constant visions any more, but she was still plenty sharp. Come here, she said, opening her wings and smiling tiredly. Darkstalker's snout twitched in a last-ditch attempt at a smile of his own before he gave in and sighed gustily again. He was too young to sigh this much. Clearsight wrapped her wings around him and blocked out the world for a few moments. Darkstalker knew she was ordinary now, without her powers anymore, but it seemed like she had an entirely new set, the ability to make it seem like everything would be okay, just for a few moments. "'It'll work out,' she whispered. "'She has a good brother. The best. It'll all be okay.'" And there we go! Darkstalker is a tired older brother, guys and gals. It is just really stressful when your baby not baby near divergent sister has literal limitless soul corrupting magic at her talons, okay? He's doing his best, guys. I think it'd be really neat to see a supportive Arctic and Foe Slayer. Their kids would have really benefited from the structure and the extra affection. And I think Whiteout with powers would absolutely 100% see Clearsight losing her mind and go, oh yes, I can fix this. And that's going to wrap up today's What If. More of a snippet, I know, but I really just wanted to focus on a little piece of how this change might have affected Whiteout and Darkstalker's life. He was always a very supportive brother, but in this version without his powers, he's especially focused on his sister, and definitely a bit of a warrior. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and like for more content like this. And feel free to comment below how you enjoyed the story. I always love reading y'all's feedback. Thanks for watching, and please have a wonderful week. What does perfect even